Folk art is defined as rooted in traditions that come from communities and cultures. In this video, we will draw a simple circular illustration inspired from Scandinavian design using the symmetry tool in Procreate. This video is a simple introduction to the tool and can be expanded and elaborated on based on your interests. The project should take about 30 minutes to complete. Feel free to copy what I do or adapt it to make it your own. You can also use the chapter markers in the video to assist your viewing if needed. Let's get started. How to draw a folk art inspired illustration in Procreate. First, I'm going to find some online examples by Googling Scandinavian folk art. I'm going to save some artwork I like to use as inspiration. Once you find an image you like, simply tap and hold and select Add to Photos. Let me open the Photos app to view some of the images I have saved. Now that I have some images saved, let's open up Procreate. The first thing we want to do is create a new file or document. We do this by clicking the plus sign here in the top right corner. I'm going to select Square, but you are welcome to choose A4 or something else if you wish. Our document opens and the first tool we will use is Color. It has different viewing and selecting options at the bottom. I'm just going to go ahead and select black. The other main tool will be our pencil or brush. For this drawing style, we will go into inking and select the technical pen. On the left here is a slider that changes the size of our brush. We also have the back arrow or undo button here to erase the last mark or marks we've made. We have another slider underneath that is for opacity. If you need to reduce the view of your file, simply pinch in with two fingers. I'm going to do a quick sketch for the layout of my drawing. It's going to be circular, and since we will be using the symmetry tool, I only have to focus on one side of the drawing. I'll go ahead and put a large flower down in this area, and place a bird here. I'll then decorate it by placing some branches and leaves around it. This drawing is very loose, it's just me testing out the layout of the composition. If you need some ideas for decorations, view some of the images that you gathered previously. I'm just going to the wrench tool, which is actions, and click on add, insert a photo. I'm not going to insert the photo, I just want to have a quick look. Now in my drawing, I need to fill up some of the blank areas I have. It's always good to start out with the largest elements first. I think I'm now ready to actually start. I'm going to go into the layers panel here on the right. I click this N and lower the opacity of the sketch to about 35%. We then need to press the plus sign here to create another layer to do the final drawing on. Now I will add the symmetry tool by going into actions or the wrench tool. Select the canvas option and below that turn on drawing guide and then edit drawing guide. Some additional tools will appear and we are going to select symmetry. So basically there is a line down the middle that will kind of act like a mirror. What I draw on one side will also appear on the other. I'm going to start off by drawing the flower at the bottom. Sometimes drawing a symmetrical circle can be tricky, but if you hold your pencil at the end mark, Procreate will fix it for you. At this stage, you can also increase or decrease the size by holding and sliding the pencil as well. Now I'll add the petals. If I hold these drawn curves, Procreate again will tidy them for me, just like before when I drew a circle. Next I will go on to the bird. So you see my pen line is a little wobbly. If I hold the pen, Procreate thinks I just want to create a curve. So I will undo and try again. If you are having a hard time creating a consistent line, tap on the brush you are using and the settings options will appear. I'm going to go into stabilization and adjust the amount here. You can test out the setting by drawing in the test area. Let me go back and finish off the bird now. Don't hesitate to keep retrying to get it right. I'm going to go and use the eraser tool to fix the head. Note that the same brush styles are available as pen types. I want to use the same eraser style as my technical pen. To make sure it's the same, I click my brush and then press and hold the eraser tool and it will automatically select the same option. 
I'm going to go with a silhouette approach, so I'm going to fill in all the shapes I've drawn simply by dragging the color option over to that shape. You have to make sure that all the shapes you draw are closed. I'm going to add some white areas by simply using the eraser. Note that on mine this appears white because the background color I'm using is also white. You could also simply change the black pen to white and do it that way too. Now I will start drawing some of the other elements as well. To zoom in or out, simply pinch in or pinch out with two fingers. I'm going to continue drawing and speed up the video at this point. So this is looking okay at this stage, but a good design will have a good balance between positive and negative space. I'm going to add some further details by adding additional white lines. On this flower here, I'm going to draw a straight line. Like the assisted circle, if you draw a line and then hold it, Procreate will straighten it out for you, where you can also adjust the position or angle by sliding your pencil into the position. Don't forget when adding flourishes with line, you can also play with the line weight or thickness. I think I'll stop at this stage as this tutorial is just for learning purposes. I'm going to go back into the layers area and turn off my sketch by unclicking this box. To save our drawing, go to Actions and select Share and JPEG. It will then prepare for export. Then click Save Image and it will be saved in the Photos app. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you found it helpful and gained some insights. Feel free to subscribe hit the like button, or leave a comment or suggestion below. This has been a Foo Foo Video Production. Foo